McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grants Getaways, and this week, snow country for not just cross-country skiing or snowshoeing, but we're on snowmobiles. It's an adventure in the Cascade Mountains. Travel a whole lot more area, get into the back country. You can go out 30, 50 miles from the snow park, not see a single person all day. Oregon at its finest. Kirk Snyder is a veteran Oregon snowmobiler. Brakes on your left, gas is on your right. They all have a kill switch. He says it's ease of access into snow country that draws his family to the Oregon Cascade Mountains. It's there to protect you. You happen to fall off, run up next to a tree, wear them and be safe. His kids don't ride without helmets, and each carries critical safety gear, including extra food, clothing, and fuel. Things happen, so you've got to be ready for it. Hey, we might spend the night in the snow. The Mount Hood Snowmobile Club is one of 26 statewide chapters, oldest in Oregon, too. Their weekend rides can reach across the Cascades toward Mount Jefferson and the Sanning M Basin. So that's what I like to do, is long rides. You just get to have fun with other people. That's the best part of this sport. Fell in love with it first loved time. Loved it. Yep. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Ryan and Susan Robinson fell in love with the solitude that comes in remote areas with few folks around. Now they bring their sons, Dylan and Trevor. Each went through a safety class and passed a test to earn their entry into the sport. Snowmobiling is amazing. There is no f other feeling that I can describe. It's a pure adrenaline rush. You get to meet all sorts of people and you have fun along the way. Ryan adds, getting started is easy too. Maybe renting at first, just one sled for one day, just to kind of get a feel for it and see if you're going to like it and the family's going to like it. Seeing if everybody likes the snow, the weather, you know, just riding around. I mean, we fell in love with it right from the get-go. and We met some great people up here snowmobiling. So that's been a big plus for us. All of our trails are dual use. So they're open for cross-country skiers to snowmobilers, so motorized, non-motorized. If you're meeting them face on, you're still, you're slowing down, move to the right, give everybody ample room. Maybe it's opening up Oregon to you in a new way? Uh, definitely has, Absolutely. you know. It's like no other feeling you'll ever have fresh when powder. you're, when fresh you are powder. snowmobiling through two, three feet of fresh powder yeah. and it's just coming over to the snowmobile, it's like winter heaven. And there's so many other lakes you could ride to that we haven't even explored yet. It's Body amazing, meadows. there's so much to see. When we're done for the year, you don't ever know where we've been. The saying from OSSA is, snowmobilers leave no tracks. It's just so fun. Oregon Snowmobile Association is a fine place to start. We have the link for that organization as well as the 26 chapters across the state of Oregon right here on the Travel Oregon website. A wonderful way to introduce you to the sport of snowmobiling. Until next week, get out here and maybe try something new as you explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.